Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. You can tell by how I sound, I imagine, what time of day it is. Yeah, that's right. I know. I, you know, we had like a nice three or four day streak where I was on it, and then it fell apart. Well, you know, I was busy today, okay? I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you, I was busy today. I had, it's, it's four in the morning. I had a... a Woke up, I had a mat linear algebra thing to do, did that, sat around for like an hour, I was like, hmm, what else am I going to do today? And then I realized I had a physics uh, homework due tonight, or earlier today, whatever time is relative, and then all of a sudden, it's now. You know, I put a little wow in there because I have raid because it's Thursday night, or Friday night, oh my god, when am I? <sighs> anyway. Hope you're doing well today. I also, you know, after after all of this, I also recorded co-op with Cranberry because I cannot uh, do things in a chronological matter. No, no, no. Don't worry, it's a good episode. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm fine. I'm I'm sure that this won't be something horrible. <laughs> oh God, we could play an infinite here. We don't have anything good for it at least, so maybe not. But these are the infinite clans. Ooh, also, I have not plugged my phone in, and that is gonna die. Hold on, I gotta plug in my phone. Nice. My PC, uh, I was having a little trouble. It was giving me, it was giving me a bit of issue today. I've been, you know, me and my PC, we've been, uh, we've been having some struggles. We've been having our fights, but hopefully it stays stable. I had a, I had a blue screen today, but it seems to be just from it going to sleep and then not waking up properly or something like that. Anyway, uh, hopefully all is well. Hopefully all is well with you as well. Hanging in there, staying safe. Uh, happy Friday, Saturday. Oh my God. <laughs> it's Saturday, it's Saturday. Don't worry, I know what day it is for you. Uh, for myself, it's Friday night. Let's get to it. Exile Stygian Default Melting. Pushback Talos. Curse Fell, Chase Seraph. Crystallis Purifying Cleanse, Guardian's Amulet. Guardian's Amulet, they took one sap off of it, and now I never take it. Three sap, it was really strong. I think at two sap, it's probably still fine. I just never take it. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe as well before I forget to mention that. Let's, let's see here. So we have Pyrestone Housing, Tempered Talisman. Tempered Talisman does absolutely nothing for us. I guess it makes Crystallis a little better. I'm gonna go Pyrestone Housing. One more upgrade on a Stygian unit. Ah, oh, God. Twist my arm, why don't you? Cold channel? No, please. Playing in can't heavy builds with dregs in the starter is going to be a little awkward, I imagine, but we'll, we'll go for it. Taking this trial might also be wrong. It's the healer combat, so it's reasonably low on the damage output front. I think it's fine, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna just keep a dreg with soul guard up here so that I can purify and cleanse as well. I think that this trial will end up being absolutely okay, but it is a little frightening to take a trial that increases enemy damage with this soul guard. Crystallis lets us get away with it, I think. I should have encountered that. Oh. Crystallis should let us get away with it, but it is frightening. I feel the slight amount of fear. I should be foreground power to the boss as well. These are small things that shouldn't make a difference, but I should still do them. You know, good form and such. The one in hand isn't worth as much as the six frostbite will be. Nice. And we win these. Cool, oh, cool. So the trial was not scary. We did have very, very fortunate Crystallis draws, but we, you know, we'll take it. I like Crypt Builder here. I think Crypt Builder's fine. Yeah. Even when you pay three energy for that card, it's fine. I feel a sneeze sneaking up on me. Hang on. It's gone, don't worry. Never mind. I'm good. Not taking any burnout extenders, and Entombed Explosives doesn't feel good to me here, so I'm going to skip. Nameless Siren? Seems fine. Well, seems more than fine. Seems uh, optimal here. And we get our oh, we get our Stygian banner lining up with the Steel Shot. You're gonna give me Multi Strike? Oh, Incan Armor 2? I like to see it. So I'm gonna go Incan Armor 2, we're gonna leave the other slot open, we're gonna take space, we're gonna duplicate Siren and hopefully get Multi-Strike for her. Siren, that is a uh, Nameless Siren, 
Multi-strike in can armor two, spam in can on the floor with soul guard should be a winning line. Now I want Icy Scylla fight. That's the question here. I actually think that she's fine. She kills backline for us, which is nice. I'll give throw a I guess I'd have to throw a plus ten at her. Although there's a large stone. I could buy her and throw a large stone at her and we're pretty comfortable. I'm gonna do that. I think this is really strong. Like as I as I started to work through it in my head, large stone icy Scylla fight seems really good. It mostly just means that we're super super safe for the next uh let me go artifact banner. I'm not gonna take this money. I can trade a little pyre health for money here, but I'm not going to. We're super safe in these next few rooms, and we should make good use of her throughout. She'll kill backline for us. We can also chunk for her with uh, drags and train stewards pretty reliably. While we set up this board, she mostly just buys time. It seems really strong. We'll see. I, I definitely... I keep going back and forth on her. I, you may remember there was a period of time I was saying Icy Soul Fight is the strongest unit in the game. She's really good. I think she's contextually the strongest. There are times where she is not great. I mean, if I hit this for foregone power, eh, fine. Doesn't really matter. No, I took two damage for that. That was silly. I shouldn't take that two damage. That's very silly of me to do. Oh well. I'm not sweating it too much. It's, a uh, this run is, it's off to a good start. I'm gonna take a third Crystallis, absolutely. Gripfall. It is fine. I think Drapal is fine. I need one cost spells that I can put like on I need uh what is it like non-targeted one cost or zero cost spells in this run. Votive key is interesting. Light's gift means that Soulguard never gets hit. It keeps Soulguard uh full health for the boss, which is probably what we want on this run. Alternatively, Endless on Soul Guard is uh, something else. He drops his shards though, so it's actually really bad. I'll go Light Skift. I think it is right. I don't want either of those. That's Nameless Siren called Kaylee if you're just listening. Not interested. Uh, I think the best thing to take here is Petrified Heart. Plus 10 health on Soul Guard is really good. We lose out on the healing from Purifying Cleanse. Oh no. We can't like overflow a plus 25 on anyone though, so the plus 25 isn't great. Blood for Blood is always good, but I'll take the Heartless. I'll take Petrified Heart. It's just really strong to give Soul Guard more health. Even 10 more health and be one more hit can be a big thing. Now we are against Pushback Talos. Horrible news. So, Pushback Talos is going to hit this floor, hit one of these two floors, hit the other floor. I believe if I place Soul Guard in front, he should get pushed back, and then in like three rounds, the Siren will get pushed back. I think is how this will work. Uh, the drags are a lot better at chunking now, too. Really good. I'm gonna lose incants, but I'm gonna preserve health. It's, like, fine. Now she should go a top floor next round. Could have maybe tried to, like, hold out for a drag or something as well. I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait on space. And, yeah, there she is, top floor. Gonna wait on space for next. Like we're gonna wait, wait until the next one for space. I'm going to try and thinking about this drip fall. It's like I want it for the incant and basically no other reason. I do want energy on the onto Fell. I want to have energy, but at the same time, 
Okay, this overcharged apprentice is gonna be dazed, huh? How did that happen? Why is he dazed? He's so he has one. Oh, because he he double dips on light skipped. He's got a total of three days to fight. Wow, that's really cool. If you drip fall an enemy with light skipped, they stay dazed for an extra round into the pyre. Huh. I've never seen that before. Purifying cleanse to save myself uh, some pyre health here. Uh -huh. Anyway, if I could finish this boss, I would like energy for curse fell. However, I don't think I need energy for curse fell. So I will probably not be taking energy for curse fell. I also might not be killing Palos here, but worth uh, worth noting. I should be. Like, our our actual output against these- like, our actual incan output is really low because it's drags forward on power and other bad things. We're okay, but I need to pick up some good spells on this run for sure. These aren't great. Horfrost Effigy might be the play. Although this is Chase Seraph, so it's like, not as good, I don't think. Harder to make work, I would imagine. Plus, I didn't pick up Flash Freeze. Yeah, I think this is a skip. Deep Offering maybe is okay there as well. A big sludge? No, I large thunder. I could take space? Big sludge plus Icy Silophyte could be good. I just drop him, I put a bunch of health upgrades on him. Take space, big sludge becomes big. I don't think it's right, but it's worth mentioning. If I, like, it's it's close, but I think that they would just take too much damage and end up dying. But she does have 60 health. Huh. I'm gonna skip this, but maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's wrong to skip that. I'm gonna hold off on space here. I think the problem is that I need to, I need to see draw energy and space on this run. I'm gonna have to skip one of them, and I think it's gonna be energy. We're gonna take draw here and probably space and double siren with uh, merchant of steel. Hopefully, multi strike. I almost have to have it by this point, but we're gonna miss an arrow. We're gonna miss the only magic shop in the next two floors. But I really need to cost down cards too. There's not much I can do if I'm going down this duplicate line. Although duplicating there isn't that important, I guess. I also picked Nameless Siren into Chase Seraph, huh? Huh. Interesting. I wonder if I lose because of that. I, I guess Silophite's gonna be our main plan. Yeah. I should have picked Siren in the sea. I just completely did not think about it whatsoever. It did not even cross my mind that this is a uh, Chase Seraph. Not a moment of thought. Quick Silophite's good though. Uh, but now I put myself in a position where I cannot roll because I bought the incant armor too. I cannot buy. I cannot roll here. Not great. Like on the on an overarching level, like minute to minute combats, I have not made too many terrible decisions. But like, yeah, this isn't great. Chase Seraph kind of just destroys me. I think. I have to. I have to get to a point where we're incanting a ton. I want this money. I think that this is a run that's gonna be strong and then we walk into Seraph and die though, is the problem. And the only- what can I even do about that? Great question. Uh... I don't know. What can I do about that? Not sure. I don't know, like, against the enemies themselves, we have a pretty good density of, of spells to deal with the enemies, but how am I killing Seraph on this run is going to be the big question mark. I have no idea. Cannot play Crystallis up there, I will take more damage. It's like, I can't, I can't slow burn Frostbite, I can't kill enemies, or I can't, I guess, it's not Seraph, right? Seraph himself will die from Soulguard, ideally. The problem is, how do I kill the heavies on Seraph here? I need to ditch these purifying cleanses. 
<laughs> my siren is incanting. I mean, you can see we're on round like four, and my siren has incanted one time. It's tough. It's very difficult to actually get these incants out. Once we remove and like thin this deck out a little bit, I think we get better. But it's a struggle. I, I would feel significantly better about this run if I had clicked on Siren of the Sea instead of this Nameless Siren. She's having trouble. I hate Large Stone Quick Icy Silophyte is the only reason we are still in this run. Uh, or not really still in this run, but Silophyte is carrying us right now. And that's okay. Silophyte can just be a... So if I can just act as our interim, like, early game carry, because she's only going to really fall off once we get to Fel. Up until Fel, we can more or less get away with being this weak. And it's fine. Nameless Simon doesn't really have to start picking up the slack until, uh, until Fel. So we'll see. I... we'll see. We'll see. I need to just start clicking on cards like Unnamed Home. Anything that can incant, I think we just take, but melting is not a good secondary for incanting. Melting does not help on the incant front. They give us cards like these, and I go, oh, oh dear. Fatal Melting Mortal Entrapment, those aren't good for incanting. Okay. I also need to, like, we gotta get rid of Train Stewards, and then we gotta clear some drags. Probably, like, down to two drags and then clear out uh, Forgon Powers on this run. Uh, Firebox, I guess, is fine. Neither of these are that good. Cleansing Water, Firebox, it's both whatever. I should have looked at the shop first. I'll take Firebox, I guess. Maybe we'll see Unbroken Horn. That's a joke. We got Multi Strike for Nameless Siren. This is a run, this is gonna be a run that calls into question can Nameless Siren actually beat Chase Seraph? I believe. Nameless Siren cannot beat Chase Seraph, but I will be glad to be proven wrong here. I'll tell you that. Very, very glad if they want to prove me wrong. Taking Spell Shield 2 seems like a very bad idea on this one. I have a drag. He's not going to chomp, of course, but still have a drag. And I'm going to try to focus on enchanting. It is the Sweep Lifesteal boss. I'll take my money here, sure. Purifying Cleanse is pretty high on my list of cards that need to be removed from this deck as well. Purifying Cleanse is, uh, worthless for the most part. I guess I get to use it as an enchant source sometimes, but... I don't know, like, these hands are really bad, right? Because in the best case we play a lot of cards here, but usually... I mean, I guess we played enough cards to be happy. I played a good amount. We Once we get down to, like, three Forgone Powers and we add in a few better spells, I think that it's actually doable. We get through all these drags. We're playing spells every turn. If I, can, I need to go to Magic Shops from here on as well. I think I save the Duplicate on this run. That's my... My next big assumption. I think I need to go to the magic shop in the next ring and not the duplicate. I saved duplicating the siren for later, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I want to play... I want to see if I can get the guardian's amulet on. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck you, Forgone Power. Hey, Forgone Power. Not my boy. All my homies hate Forgone Power. I do, I do think that lately I have been over-respecting Chase Seraph, so this might be, uh... I might be giving Chase Seraph too much credit. Oh, this is what I like to see. Three one-cost spells, very good. Frenzied Swarm is good. Frenzied Swarm is good. Uh, Harness the Titan is fine. Ice Storm is good. I lean slightly towards Frenzied Swarm. Or Chase Seraph, because it's going to let me bypass all the damage. Because Chase Seraph counters Light's Gift. He will purge the days from Light's Gift. So taking this is good. It also, Frenzy Swarm lets me uh, remove like three Forgone Powers, and still, if I get a minus one holdover, I can still consistently 
play Guardian's Amulet Crypt Builder. Realistically, this is Ice Storm, but it's worth talking about. Wow, this run is real desperate if I click on Resin Removal here. I think it is, too. I just click on Resin Removal because I need it. It doesn't do anything, I just need it. I need a one-cost spell. Maybe I'm overdoing it on the on the grabbing spells, but like I think we need them. Ice Storm. This deck, I, this deck also feels really strong if I get like ten <laughs> removals. Uh, I think I think we can settle for uh, four removals, which is a little more doable. But ten would be the ideal. Uh, I'm not double stacking anything here. I'm gonna go ahead and roll. <laughs> Permafrost, or oh, whatever. I want cards to cost one. Chase Seraph actually wants you to have cards that cost zero. Because it's uh, Fire Wings. Fire Wings? I think that's what they're called. I probably want Ice Storm to cost zero. I'll put 10 on Crypt Builder. What's my. The Steel Shop? Okay. I can afford a purge here. I want to purge just to try and be a little more powerful going into Fell. And we get the event. The space event would be ideal. Uh, Petty Theft is a one cost spell. It's a conditional one cost spell because it has to target an enemy, but it is a one cost spell. Gift of Gratitude is basically a removal in terms of value. And Heaven's Gold is probably not needed here. Although. I'm gonna take it. As I think about it, the likely cause of death is heavies that killing us, so we'll just take Heaven's Gold. I'm gonna probably not make a ton of use out of it, but, you know. I think we can make some use out of Heaven's Gold, so I'm down for it. Solo Fight Turn 1 would be ideal. No Solo Fight Turn 1, unfortunately. Uh, I did get the Silence Tone, though, which is fine as well. Look at this resin removal value. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I'm going to the Crypt Builder here, and I'm going to silence the curse, and then I'm just going to let the curse go by. Drop Psyllophyte. Focus my entire life on incanting. We're going to do all of this, all of this combat is just incanting for Soul Guard here. I think we can sneak out of this as well, if we just can't soul guard enough. Ah, too bad. Sure. And once we get the dregs out, it doesn't feel too bad. Hey, nice. The incant is not worth the damage I lose here, though, for sure not. Yeah, so this end turn doesn't matter. Like I've been saying though, like this run is super, super strong, and then uh, we hit the next phase, and it becomes a little worse. Like the next two floors, we fall off like crazy. Crystallis stops killing enemies, and all of a sudden things get to be a problem. We're suddenly having a real issue. Yeah. For wow, Crypt Builder, it'll be really good with Forgone Power, right? <laughs> right? Huh. Sure. I mean, we're not enchanting a terrible amount. It really just is Chase Sarah. I think that we're even fine in the next room. I'll drip fall here. I should have frostbit him first, but then if I discard drip fall, I'm angry, so. Probably wrong. Crystallis. I am just gonna... Well, I believe in you. I believe in you, Crypt Builder. Yep. That's what I believed in. This one's gonna be tight. We have like a... We have a frame of... Pe we have a time frame here where we can power up and become strong enough. It's gonna depend a lot on what we see. Because we're cutting it close, for sure. Play this first, it doesn't really matter. We'll see. Uh, the next floor I have to make some good choices, I guess. We're just, we're poor, which is a problem. 
Arnus the Titan is a one cost spell. I think that on this run, this is the, the big decision here that matters now is energy versus space. Space and duplicate siren is a line. The alternative here, the alternative to that line is to take, uh, take, take energy. We play more spells. Let me take a look at the rest of the run here. Uh, we're gonna see double magic shops, so I think it's okay to take space. I think it's okay to take Harness the Titan as well here. And it's just a one, co one cost card. I think it's okay to take space. We're gonna go magic shop, I guess. Magic shop plus money here. Good. I'm gonna spend all my money. Sorry, heaven's gold. We just need to buy as many uh, cost downs as we can. Not removals. My brain wanted to say removals. I would like to get removals as well, but... You know. I think that it's really big if we get the 400 gold trial here. We want this to be, like, invasion trial. I think invasion trial is ideal. Uh, skip this. I don't want either of these yet. I just want more cost downs. It's even more important because we didn't take energy. To buy every one of them. Uh, I'll pay you higher health for an artifact, sure. Bethesda's scales can be really good on this run. Absolutely. That can be really strong. And we take Soul Guard Cold Channel 2. Or sorry, 3. Uh, I hope that this isn't a spell shield. Plus 8 is frightening on Shade Wings, but we have the quick. I'm gonna take the trial. We're gonna roll. We're gonna go for the high roll here. I need it. Uh, Silophyte, good. Soul Guard, good. Drags the block, good. Wow, Tethers the Scales hit all three here, huh? Oh, also, Resin Removal removes the can't be healed problem. And it's not really a problem, it doesn't matter, but it does work that way in case you were wondering. I did not see which boss this was. I was not paying attention. I will not lie to you. No idea who it is. I'm gonna hold the Silence Tome. Just in case it's, uh, the boss that you can silence. So here I am. We're fine. I will get, like, harness. We'll get something next turn to deal, I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. He blocks it off. Nice. I... Silencing this floor would never wouldn't have been bad, I guess, but too late for that now. Lost the silence. These drags are doing a great job of buffering for us. And we are gonna take 18. Maybe a little more even. Hopefully not a little more. Oh dear. Now we're fine. Play harness the Titan. He's got two, you know, two spell weakness. The problem is that we're relying on a bunch of debuffs and uh, you know. You know. Chase Seraph and we're relying on spell weakness is not a good one. We're gonna have to put Silophyte on the middle floor, I think. So that we have less time to lose it. It is Trample Boss. Great news. Well, fine news, I guess. I don't really have a hot... I don't have a big feeling either way about this. I just silence, I guess. It's fine. We're like, the, the boss killing comes from... Soulguard's Frostbite plus the armor on the Siren. That's our that's our big plan here. We have armor on the on the Nameless Siren and we have 23 Frostbite on Soulguard. So he gets hit four times and applies like a hundred something Frostbite and then the enemies just die. That's a rough estimate of our plan for you. And he applies a. Uh, 60 frostbite and then a 60 frostbite per hit. And so on an enemy doing 10 times 3, that doesn't take long to stack up. None of these are playable spells, so I will skip. Titan's Tooth is not a good enough one. Uh, memories is fine. I wish Memories came with Permafrost here, but I will take Memories. Fine. We got away with the trial, we took a little damage, and we don't get Pyre Health, which is a shame. Uh, but that's fine. 
Let's see what the trinket shop says. It is Pyrewall. Eh, maybe. I'm gonna spend most of this money here. We're gonna start with removing. Uh, I wanna remove. I think I remove the purifying cleanses first. After that, it gets a little more uh, interesting. Two more removals is probably what I wanna get. Uh, cost downs and removals, I think we're looking at here. I'm not gonna buy Pyrewall. Energy is going to be a big problem in the Chase Seraph, I believe, but we'll see. I can't play Dregs unless they die for sure, because they'll take energy with Ember Wings, Pyre Wings. I'm not even sure I want to reroll this shop. I want to reroll the Trinket Shop because what if it shows me something great? It's not Pyre Wall here though. Hell's Banners is great. Totem Fragment is... Oh, Totem Fragment's nuts. Totem Fragment's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totem Fragment's super, super good here. Give me that shit. I'm gonna duplicate Nameless Siren. Yeah, I hope we don't lose space top floor. Really hope we don't lose space top floor. Because we'll lose a lot of value if that happens, but... Okay, if it does, we're gonna purge one foregone power. And that's the run. I did not get to make much use of Heaven's Gold, but I, I just had to use my money. Fine. We have a lot of artifacts, let's see if it matters. It's like, the problem is I have a bunch of artifacts that apply status effects against Chase Seraph, so... Ah, oh, we lost space top four. That is fucking rough. That is absolutely rough, okay. <sighs> Fine. I wonder if it's wrong to even play top four. Or mid four, rather. Probably fine, but still I wonder. Yeah, her rage is just gonna be non-existent. The the big thing to duplicate for though is the the extra armor, I guess. But the problem is Soulguard is just going to die. Soulguard is dead. Very quickly Soulguard dies. I fucking hate you, Forgone Power. Oh, Forgone Power. You bitch. How much damage does this guy do to us? A bit. I'm gonna buffer these hits. I cannot play another drag, I don't think. I'm... like, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I feel fear here. I'm gonna try to, like, maybe bait Seraph top floor by putting drag up here. I don't think it'll happen. Oh, nice. Cool, okay. Uh, I need to have Soulguard not take 20 on this turn. Actually, Soulguard taking 20 on this turn is fine. Now that I've thought about it for a second, it is absolutely okay. I will explain to you why, and it will all become clear momentarily. I mean, you already know, for sure, but... In case you don't. Uh, the drag actually kills his light wings, which is crazy. I can put a drag down here to save health on Silophyte, that is fine. I want to I'm not gonna I'm not gonna unnamed tome. I'm not gonna unnamed tome the pyre wings. I'm going to use it on Seraph. Or the Incan. Because we're gonna get some frostbite here. Although it is it is Chase Seraph, so maybe this line is wrong. It's not like I can change it though, so I just take the I take the frostbite but that I can get here, I suppose. Right here. Yeah, I just take what I get here. All it gets. What, 36 frostbite? Interesting. And this floor lost all of its uh, Ember Drain, or rather all of its Frostbite. All of its Spell Weakness is the one I'm looking for there. I'm gonna just drip Seraph again, I guess. And we're gonna play like this. I don't know if we win this run. Right now, currently, ask me if we win this run. I do not know. Ah, uh, resin removal, if only. 
I think that we lose this run by a lot. Given that Soulguard is dead right now, I think we lose. I think that if we had been able to play top 4, we win. I will replay this combat, but I will put my setup top 4 and I'll just miss a Scylla fight and we will see what happens. But I think we lose. Pretty, pretty decisively, I think we lose as well. I don't think it's particularly close. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised, though. Like, maybe we'll put up a bunch of rage and we'll just crush like crazy here in these last few rounds. I think that doesn't happen. Seraph has, what, 20 rage? 20 frostbite left? The, uh, the, the Ember Drain has proven to be an issue as well. Absolutely. Play Titan Harnesser here. Yeah, this doesn't look close to me. How is it? Yeah, 563. About as good as I expected. So 3, uh, 883. Okay, we're getting there. Uh-huh. 1057. Yeah. 1121. Yeah, so let me replay this. I think that we lost because we played uh, mid-floor. I think we had to just... I, I think the... Yeah, I think we lost because we played mid-floor. So let's just give it another try. I think that I baited myself when I lost... If, I, I, I believe confidently we would win if we could set up top four. And maybe it is so strong enough that we can win anyway setting up top four. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it shouldn't be, but you never know. I'm gonna kill this guy so that this drag stays alive. Maybe he baits a... yeah, baits one of those. Now, the other siren is weird because... Like, what do I do with her? Is the question, right? What What is she gonna do here? If I play her, she's just going to take Ember Drain and be worthless, so I guess I just float her. No, I just throw her away here. She just dies right now. That's what I do. I also, like, one of the other things is I was thinking that we were going to win by having Sarah take a bunch of Frostbite, but he's, you know, the wrong Sarah for that. <laughs> uh, he's the wrong one. I am taking a lot from this Dark Wings, buddy. I'm taking a lot here. Like, the, the Soul Guard's health is finite. I wonder if I was supposed to keep in those Purifying Cleanses and try to Purify and Cleanse Soul Guard back up. Now that would be a wild line. That would be a weird one. I'm gonna play this drag to buffer the hits. I know it's gonna mean that we take damage, huh? Maybe it's wrong. Is 30 Pyre Health worth 26 health on Soul Guard? I think it is. This one goes down here for sure. Mm. Although I do also take a bunch from this Dark Wings himself. I think that I think that I'm supposed to do this, but I'm not sure. I take a lot. I take a lot of damage for this. That is a lot of damage to take, but I think it's what you're supposed to do. Also, I don't take as much Ember Drain because of the days, and sometimes Seraph just decides to spare me. I'm gonna silence so we don't take any more Ember Drain here. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. All of this is just fine with me. Absolutely acceptable. Uh, I'm gonna play the drag down. I'm gonna play the drag here. Uh, I don't care about the six frostbite. I care about the infant. Does cut my rage. I just can't incant enough. It feels like. I just in can't do it. <laughs> Let me out. I'm dead here, right? I'm just dead here because this drag. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead from playing this drag, actually. Right?
Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, so playing the drag kills me here. Okay. I mean, this run is just a decided loss. Uh, for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it end. I think that there's a line to win that fight, but it's really hard. Oh, it's so hard. Fuck you, Chase Sarah. Oh, I didn't even think about it, too. I didn't- I did not even- didn't even come to mind. But the- the- there's two problems at play there. It's Chase Seraph, and we're trying to play Incant Heavy when we got offered really shitty spells. We got offered a bunch of absolute garbage spells, so I was I was- but I was leaning heavily on not losing space top four, basically. I think that we win that if we don't lose space top four, and I was leaning on that, and knowing that we would, would, would don't, knowing we lose space top four there, I would just duplicate like one of the zero cost crystallis or something like that. I don't know. That run sucked. I didn't like that run. That run felt really bad. But like that run should have felt really good, but it was Chase Seraph, and we lost for it. I didn't play around him, and he just beat my ass. What a shame. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.